Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of the Let's Play of uh, Crash Team Racing. So, um, by the way, I'm, do I'm doing this in one sitting. I won't do all parts in one sitting, I'm just going to be doing part 0, 1, and 2 in one sitting. So yeah. But anyways, hello and welcome to part 2 of the Let's Play of Crash Team Racing. Last episode, we pretty much beaten Ripperoo and completed Insanity Beach. Not fully completed, but we completed it. So, yeah. And now we are here in Lost Ruins. And our first level we're going to go to is Coco Park. And as you can already tell, our boss here is Papu Papu. In fact, I believe every boss here is uh, Crab Bandicoot 1 and 2 bosses. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, and I'll let you want to know which boss it's going to be, or which boss this is going to be. Can't really tell ya. It's a surprise. But, you'll know, don't worry. But anyways, you know. Here we go. And, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, and I like how these assholes wanna try everything to try and get the first. Even if they have to fuck me over twice, which they will. But is it worse and like is it worse in this game than in C and K, which is Crash Metro Kart? That game, the AI is so annoying. I hate it. Uh but I digress about that game. That game is not even fun. I have played Crash Nitro Kart, for anyone who's wondering. And yes, I played it, I did not enjoy it as much as I thought I would. Though I have played it as a kid in my uncle's house in Houston. I did not like playing that game. You know? Now as an adult, I did not I, I do not like playing that game. I really don't. Maybe it's because my child mind really enjoyed uh, Nitro Kart as a kid. I just couldn't enjoy much of it. Like, let me rephrase that. I enjoyed it, like when I wasn't doing CNK tokens and relics. But doing races, I enjoyed it. I loved it. Though the CNK challenges and the tokens, they can suck a dick. I hate it in Crash Nitro Kart. It's worse in Crash Nitro Kart. It really is. Like the C and the N and the Ks are in the most stupidest places. They're like in they're like in fucking shortcuts that you think that you wouldn't even take normally. And it's like what's the point in putting it there, you know? So it's like really a stupid idea. I don't know who thought of that. <sighs> it's like no point really. You know? And I hate it more in I hate it I hate getting C and K tokens. You can go faster through turns. Bye. Okay, shut up. <laughs> I hate getting C and K tokens and crash Nitro Kart then getting the CTR tokens in this game. In this game, it's not as annoying because they're in places you can get to there and you don't have to take shortcuts. But in fucking crash Nitro Kart, you have to fucking take shortcuts just to get to the freaking letter. And it's so irritating. I don't know why they would do that. It is just so fucking stupid. Ah, <sighs> and I do not have time for that at all. No time for that at all whatsoever. I can care less for it, to be honest. So. But uh, I digress. Uh. So now we're in Tiger Temple, and uh, you can probably tell which le whose level this is. In fact, if you haven't noticed, uh, every level, or every track that we went to, has at least one character's name. Some of the levels don't, uh, but some do. Like for instance, uh, really? Oh, there we go. Ha! Good use. But anyways, uh, like for instance. Crash Cove has Crash Bandicoot's name, of course. Ruse Tubes have uh, Ripper Roo's name on there. Uh, Coco Park, of course. And yeah, 
time and yeah. Uh, I believe the I believe the other levels, like Mystery Caves and Super Speedway, do not have anyone's name. So that's something to note. Um, I wouldn't say Tiger Temple is hard. All I know is that some characters actually do try and get real cocky and. You know, they will start to catch up and try and get you the way they can, which is really annoying. Haha! <laughs> Fuck you, Pura! I said Pura, not Polar, if you were thinking of. Someone's gonna run into that. Someone's going to run into that. Oh! I don't know if Tiny did. I couldn't hear his, like, Grunts or anything. Usually a roar or something like that. You're expected to win, obviously. In fact, everyone is easy, so you know. Boom! And there we go! We won! We won! Uh, and if I would have picked Cortex, I still would have won. Because, you know, Cortex and Crash had the same stats. Uh, I would say you can pick any other character because it wouldn't matter, but oh good lord. Uh, some levels in this game with characters who can't turn, or who isn't fast, oh god. One level, an example, is what I'm going to be showing you, and that is Papu's Pyramid. Ah, if you're a character who cannot turn right, example, Tiny and Dingo Dial, you're going to have a hard time. I'm not joking. This level is really sharp with turns. Oh, this level isn't in particularly sharp with turns. This part here is. This is the part I'm talking about. This part here is really sharp with turns. I'm... Serious. I'm dead serious. If you're like a character who can't turn right at all, you're gonna have a bad time. Never. F <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing because I heard Polar just get hurt. <laughs> I think it's funny when you hear Polar get hurt. Oh man. Oh, that's just hilarious. But, uh, yeah. Thank God I'm crashed. So, I'll have a good time. So, with other characters, it's never fun. Goodbye. What the hell? But, uh, anyways, what I wanted to say. Well, I was gonna not say nothing. Um, these piranha plants here, I guess it's what called. I don't know what they're called. Um, there's a really weird thing about them. Um,. Now, first thing you want to note, when you go into a line of sight while they're in crouching mode, they will eat you. I'm not joking. If you run to their, when you when you run into their spot when they're like in crouch mode, they will eat you, and that's never good. However, you can actually avoid that. I believe if you jump over it while they're in crouch mode, you can prevent them from eating you. So that's something you want to note. These guys are kind of a bit of a, you know, yeah. So you want to be careful with that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love this game, which it's like... <laughs> Basically, hearing the character, it shows. Like, just hearing them, it shows. Like, holy crap. Oh my god. But we did it! Again. You'll see how I you'll see how I actually breathe in the real quick. Um doing like two worlds within like well two videos if you count episode zero, but yeah, two videos. Yeah, it's really uh something. But yeah. And there we go. Congratulations. Uh, you win a trophy. 
And a Kwaku will always interrupt you to tell you something. To get around a tight turn. Thank you, Aku. So helpful. Wee to me! Sorry. I yawn while I was talking. I can't help doing that. I'm sorry, I tried to fight it, but I couldn't. But, eh, what can you do? So now we're on the Dingo Canyon. You can tell this is Dingo Dial's level. As a matter of fact, um, <laughs> I love this actually. This is really smart. Um, depend on which level you are, that's the character who's gonna be in first. Like, for instance, in Coco Park, if you haven't noticed, Coco was in first. In Tiny Temple, Pearl was in first. In Dingo Canyon, as you saw um, now, Digo was in first. So, I love that little tidbit. You know which character's level it is if you see them in first. It's awesome. There was a stopwatch, as you saw there. Uh, the stopwatch uh, causes people to slow down. So that's always awesome. So yeah. Ooh! Ooh! I'm sorry, Coco. You just got... My god. I'm sure Coco had a voice actor, I could be wrong. I'm sure she had a previous voice actor, I don't know who that is. All I know is that the voice actor for, for, for Coco from now on, the same voice actor who voiced like the rainbow from like, uh, from like, um, Five Nights at, from like, Five Nights at Freddy's Fruit? No, from, um, FNAF World. And, uh, yeah. Like I, I I'm just gonna tell you there, I, would, I did not expect the voice actor for Coco to have that much of an attitude. It is insane and crazy, to be honest. Like, holy crap, she had like so much of an attitude, it's really hilarious. But, you know. I actually love her voice actor for Coco, it's really awesome. Not to say I'm in love with Coco or the voice actor at all. Totally not. <laughs> yeah, that's totally not the case. That is a crazy. Yeah, totally not in love with Coco or anything. Yeah, he yeah, is crazy. Yeah, I can't really go into words. All right, anyways, <laughs> about enough of that. That was the last level or track in this world, so of course we're going to be facing off against the boss, which is Papu Papu. All right, Papu Papu, let's do it. Papu much tired of watching puny slugs race so slow. Papu want in action to lay boom down big and prove Papu is world's best driver. Papu moves so fast, you munch drags. English? English, please? I'm serious. English. But anyways, uh, here's Papu Papu. Papu Papu, of course, is like the same as every boss has a item spam. And what his item spam is, is that he spent. Oops. Well, <laughs> you won't be seeing it now, but uh, what he'll actually do is that he'll spam potions. So yeah. You'll actually see it right now. So there you go. He spammed the green ones, the red ones. Never fun. And, uh, yeah. Ooh, I heard that. That was wild. Wow. Haha! <laughs> I don't know what you said there, but I'm guessing, you know, that was an insult or something. Ah, shit. I, I don't really mean to do these hard turns. They're really hard to turn. That's why I always jump and shit, you know? <laughs> I love that sound effect he does. <laughs> oh, man. It's so hilarious. Actually, every boss has a funny-ass sound effect they do when they get hurt. <laughs> like, Riveru goes... I, I don't want to do it and, you know... I don't want to do it, you know, for the sake of it. 
Oh, yeah, why not? He actually goes, ah! Or something like that. Or, ah! Yeah. It's like a, it's like a weird hurting grunt sound. It's like, I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's weird to hear. It. You know, it's weird to hear it. I can't really explain much about it, but it's just really weird to hear. I love that sound effect all out of all the others. It shows that he's hurt as shit. But you know. Ooh! <laughs> oh, and I love those sound effects because it actually, you know, it shows that you hit them. You can also look at them when they turn red, you know, when you hit them by other than that. Yeah! We did it! We beat Papu Papu. Like I said, I love this game. It's so fun. And really easy. You shouldn't have too much problems. So, yeah. Now, I don't know if that... I don't know if that bat, female Bandicoot had jiggle fixes. Physics, jiggle physics, but uh, you might. I mean, you can rewind the video and see, but I'm sure it had j jiggle physics. So. Uh, Papu not himself today. Maybe Papu not eating a big breakfast. You are fast for be so small. Here is key to help. Oxide much bigger problem for you. Him not as big. But he's much more grumpy. Alright. So, there we go. We are done with the Lost Ruins. So, we are actually, um, one halfway through the game. We're actually going to the third, um, world. So, yeah. And as you can see, the. Oh, okay. Okay. And the third world is, as you see, an ice place or a frozen tundra looking area. This place is called Glacier Park and uh, this is where we're gonna be going to fight our next enemy. So yeah. So who is our main bad guy? Who is the boss in this level? Well let's go ahead and find out shall we? I think you guys want to. So yeah. Why not, you kooky little motherfuckers? So, let's go and find out who it is. Why not? So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and, uh, let's, uh, yeah. And it is. Oh. My. God.